Hello my viewers, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial today we are going to be looking at simultaneous linear equation involving logarithm. So when we look at this, the question looks somehow confusing but it is very very simple. So now I, if I want to start you know, from any of these equations, so I'm going to start from equation 2. Okay, so but the idea of the basic knowledge about logarithm and this is a very very important here so now let me start from equation 2 and see what we are going to do so now from this equation 2 i can write this equation 2 to be in the form log okay log x minus log y to power 2 equals to log 10 to base 10 okay so now the reason why i have log 10 to base 10 here i get it now so i want to write you know all the terms of equation 2 to be in what in logarithm and that's why i try to express one here are you getting it now to be what to be log 10 base 10 and is equivalent to what to 1 and also these two here are you getting now is the one that jump okay come over here and turn to what and turn to power so now from here the next thing we are going to do now are you getting now so far the both sides of this equation are being written in terms of logarithm therefore we are good to go so we are now going to use the subtraction law of logarithm that says, for example, if you have log a, okay, you have log a minus log b, okay, we are going to have log a, okay, divided by what? Log b. That is what the subtraction law says that when you have two log, you know, being subtracted. So you are going to divide them and this is what we have here. So therefore, we relate this form, I get it now, to what? To that equation 2. So now that equation 2 can now be written in the form log into brackets x divided by y squared close the bracket equals to log 10 to base 10. I get it now. So now from here, you can see this one also being base 10. So whether you put base or you didn't put base, whenever you have log, so log means that is natural log that is, is in base 10. Do you understand now? So from here, automatically this equation can be x divided by y squared equals to 10. So let's call this equation three are you getting it now so from equation three so equation three can be written in a linear form as what uh, that is i mean in a straight form by clearing the fraction so that therefore we are going to multiply through by y square so multiplying through by y square we are going to have x equals to 10 y square and also we can call this you know four so now we are going to put what we are going to put this equation four back to what back to equation one where we have x y equals to what equals to eighty. So now putting this four here, okay, putting this four here that is equation four here, we are going to have ten y squared into y equals to eighty. Now from here, we are going to have 10 y to power 3 equals to 80. So now from here, we are going to look or make y the subject. To make y the subject here, we are going to divide through by 10. Dividing through by 10, we are going to have y to power 3 to be equals to 80 over what over 10. So this zero, we cancel this zero. We have y to power three equals to eight. 
Now, this can be written in the form that is by writing this 8 in terms of base 2, that is in an index form with base what? Base 3. So we have what? Base 2 rather. Then we have. Then we have. Y to power 3 equals to 2 to power 3. I guess now. So since the boats, you know, the powers are the exponents are equal, so we can have y to be equals to 2. So we just got the value of what? Of a variable. So remain variable x. So now to get variable x is very simple. So we are just going to pick this y equals to 2 in any of the given equation or if any of the you know equation we have derived, just put the value of y there and you get the what you get your second value. Okay? Therefore, so let's say we go back to that equation one that say x y equals to 80, and we've already gotten what we've already gotten our We've already gotten our y to be equals to 2 here, so therefore we have x into bracket 2 equals to 80. Okay, then we divide both sides by 2 here. So this one, we cancel this, we have x to be equals to 40. Do you understand now? So now from here, we have a possible solution of x, comma y to be equals to what? To be equals to what is our x? x is 40. What is y? y is 2. And that is the final answer to the problem. So if you like this class, you know, you find it very interesting, do not forget to hit the subscription button so that you get notified anytime I drop my videos. Thank you so much for watching. We shall meet some other time.